All right, we're here in Chatel. Last race of the year, which is crazy. It's been a freaking awesome year. Day John was like a sick time. The tracks are really good. I'd say some of the best tracks we've raced this year. The course is worthy of a World Cup, that's for sure. She ain't ready for the AF. He be riding on the wave. All right, we're here in Chatel for the last round of the EDR. Less faffing, more braffing. Star, times money, money pays. You ain't ready for the AF. She ain't ready for the AF. Mad at Savage, I'm back and I'm back and it happening. Ready to blow. I remember doing these with Deji from the street, they left me on my own. Monk can't ask me about how I got the fee, I told her leave him on my grown. Then they're ringing off my phone. Then they're ringing off my phone. Time change, but mine's made though. I ain't got line patience. Tried then, though, light bait. Just come close, but swear that. When goes with the head back, if I both slouch, get your bell back to my condo where I bear tracks with a gang. Catch that for the gram. Snap that for the man. These dudes do the most. No money in the hand. I ain't never had to feel a way. Rhyme steady and it feel the way. Occupation make it either way. Never worry cause I can. Back chat from the white right gang. Hook charge when they sack man. Passport when I'm on the phone. Make space when the bags land. This must be the daydream. Max got me the man plan. My team never lied on. Do a visit from the facts man. He be riding on the wave. I ain't got a lot to say. Mine's heavy, give me space. Pines ready, let me blaze. Spend money what I waste. Uh, times money, money pays. You ain't ready for the Ave, Never. she ain't ready for the Ave. Fake clothes, same watch, fake breath, same fuck, same squad, same lots, but flop ain't what I'm on, aim up. Don't stop, we be leveling. Proceeds increase heavily, don't need this man's energy. I be the one, beat the one. I don't make a song to make a song, and the vibe is right. The mic will let me on to the signs of light. I find it's pretty strong in the line, I pick me first before I'm gone. I am straight, sick with the work place. Syllables, spin, I don't fidget when I burst. Straight, minimal talk when I work late. Fuck what you think by my work rate, celebrate wins like a perf. This is 3 6, got a mean list of the tracks. But you man busy sleeping when I brainstorm as a plan. Link Tandy on the underground, I don't even have to ask Miss laughing with my brother now, I ain't talking about Dan We're holding our breath and doing the Rubik's Cube at the same time um, To get us faster at doing the Rubik's Cube Riders ready? Go! I fucked it <laughs> <laughs> That shit gets really hot Yeah, it is hot there's a week off uh, between Le Danville and Châtel, the next race. So I'm using this time to kind of spend a lot of time on my bike here in the bike park. My arms are absolutely clapped because it's pretty rugged out here. I'm also like riding with a little bit of intent and comparing my coil and my air. I've raced the coil for the past few years, but this year I put on the air because I like the dynamic and with the new tunes, it was working super well for me. So I kind of put it on and didn't ask any myself any question and rode it for the races, which has been like really good. But this week I felt like I had some time to puzzle. So uh, I'm just doing a few runs on one trail to compare how I feel. So I just finished comparing back-to-back -back coil and air and uh, I'm gonna stick with the air because it's what I race for most of the races this year, actually all of them. But I'm super glad I took some time in this week off to feel the coil and what it does to my riding. Knitting the second sock of a pair of socks I started on the very first trip of this year in Phoenix, Arizona when we had our team launch. This is the start of the second one. And this is the one that I finished. It's actually for a gift that I told someone I would give to them two years ago. New hobby or what? <laughs> Trying to solve the rules. How far are you? Um, not very far. I'm working on my white cross right now. Oh uh, yeah, nice. Yeah. Have the lingo down already? Mm. Oh damn, dude. Look at that. Get the colors lined up. That's what you want right there. <laughs> I don't know what to do next. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, anyways, it's the first day of practice on this four day venture. Today, we have Brett riding with us. We're all excited. Um, safety first. So yeah, you know, last race of the year, which is crazy. Yeah, it's um, come around. Yeah, but we feel good. We're excited, it's kind of sunny. Might rain later, apparently. I live by not checking the forecast. Croissants, orange juice. So, today's practice day. Day one. Yeah, I'm actually really stoked. Sun's out. 
It's probably still gonna be pretty muddy out there. Like after, it rained a lot last night, but um, yeah, I think it's gonna be really fun. Kind of warm up on some bike park stuff. Today was all the bike park stages. We had some solid rain overnight. It was at the stage where it's kind of drying up, but not really. So you were letting go and going pretty fast. This is super open section. Yeah, it was fun. Like tough to like supercharge compared to Lou Danville practice where we had like really good weather and you could just push. So I feel like I rode good, but like safe. Looking forward to see the next day of practice and how it's going to be on my stage. My day was awesome. The tracks were sick. It was really mixed conditions, like slippery, grippy. Just couldn't tell what was going on, but it was really fun. The tracks are really good. I'd say some of the best tracks we've raced this year. So, stoked. I enjoyed those tracks. They were really fun. Yeah, like that Emmett said, some of the best. We've raced some like good, consistent speed. Good flow, rough, slippery, but and like really challenging. But I think you have to be really confident with your front wheel on these tracks because there's like lots of like little sniper routes right before a turn. So you're just like you really have to just like trust that your front wheel is going to grip over that root and like hit, be able to hit the turn. Definitely dried out over the course of the day. And added a little bit of pressure to my shock just to put a bit more weight over my hands and in my fork, and that really helped. And that like definitely got me a lot more aggressive over the front end, charging more. Um, yeah, small change, like only a one PSI more, but just like just a little bit extra support in the rear to get charged to the front, which was really helped, yeah. Come with me, come with me, come with me, Turtle. Let's see what puts uh, Mechanic puts in his bag. We got the Evoc Trail Stage 2. This is the bag I used for supporting the team out there. Not a lot of mechanicals today. A little bit of air pressure from Remy, as you just heard. And in here, just your basics, really. Anyway, um, in here, a banana I didn't eat, a chain. It's always good to have a spare chain, a hanger. Um, these are, I don't know, what is in here? Pedals, that was good. Didn't use those. What's in this one? Snickers. That was for ALN, but we got mixed up and she got lost and... We never found her again. I didn't get lost. And that is what's in my e-bot bag. Today we have the Bouton Dour. It's pretty good. What flavor? There's a hella deal. Paprika, man. Probably like a seven. Seven or an eight. As long as it doesn't like piss down rain, as long as we only get another little drizzle or two, I think it's gonna be a really, really fast rip and race. Some pretty heavy weather just rolled through, which could definitely make things spicy for tomorrow's practice. But hoping that the sun comes out. <laughs> hoping the sun comes out. Oh uh, yeah, it's raining pretty good now. <laughs> you're putting too much pressure on me right now, dude. Dude, you're a racer. You should be able to do this without <laughs> distraction. <laughs> no. Ooh, that's actually money. That's right where you want it. No, it's still fucked. Why does it keep getting fucked on the last move, dude? Ah! You saw them yet? I saw like seven, dude. Up. That way down, that way down. That's a motherfucking cube, bro. Tasty espresso. So what's the rating for that one? Oh, it's a ten, man. Obviously. Ten, man. Slight drizzle, so uh, it should be good out there. Yes, I am stoked. I feel like I just underestimate days where we have like 100 meters of climbing and, and three chairlift, but the tracks are long and technical, so you end up hiking a bunch. It's hard work. Harder work than I usually remember. Oh. 
Yo! One at the time felt like hard, but it was kind of nothing <laughs> compared to two and three. <laughs> oh yeah, Remy. Oh yeah! I think it's gonna be really nice in the race to get those three out of the way and then go into the bike park because the bike park's gonna feel like a walk in the park compared to those. How was it? I good, yeah. Great. Just had a little boo boo on the first one and then powered through, but these are not the kind of trails you wanna ride shy. You wanna be really into it, so it took my sweet ass time. It took me forever. I was getting annoyed at myself at how long it was taking me, but it was just like I need to ride smart, like I can't pick chances and people were literally gambling on the track like just like chucking themselves down off camber route sections but other than that stage one was really good honestly stage one was like a sick time but it was good yeah first two stages were really fun and then uh third one was good at the top then it got really tricky at the bottom just like slick rock rocks and roots everywhere but powered through it it was just a bunch of hiking really and trying to dial in the lines good practice i feel good going in tomorrow like stage one and two are going to be like really good to set the tone and then three will get a bit trickier but no, i think it'll it'll carry in good it'll be a good day as you may not see um all of our bikes have a tailored ride wrap um for us as the mechanics cleaning these bikes on a muddy weekend, especially like we've had here in Chatel, it just makes our life so much easier. Um, we often have rental vans, so throwing them in the back of there, they get knocked around a little bit. Um, the ride wrap just makes sure these bikes look clean as every single time we pull them out. We don't travel around with uh, two frames for each rider, so the bike they have is the bike they're riding, and we've got to keep on top of making sure they look good, ride good, smell good, taste good. One root at a time. They're going in my brain. Memorizing lines? No, I'm looking at trucks. <laughs> How you feeling? Uh, good. I'm already a little nervous, so I'm trying to keep my nerves down, do what I gotta do. This is usually the point I get pretty stressed out. But everything's done, so. No need to stress. Feels uh, strange, last one of the year. Uh, but yeah, it's been a freaking awesome year. A lot of change for the team, but I feel like we've come through strong and yeah, hopefully we can build on this. It's gonna be fun. Last race of the year. It was like two really days, excited. But... Just gonna go and have fun. The course is sick. Kinda wish there was a few more, to be honest. It is September now, so it'll be nice to go home once the season, like once this race is over, but I think we could do a few more. It'd be nice to maybe get one or two extra. Um, but yeah, this this course is sick, so I'm, I think it's a really good last uh, race of the year. The course is worthy of a World Cup, that's for sure. Ready to go. Probably already over that side. Go average. What's up, buddy? You got this? Thank you. Thank you. Not many mistakes, just felt like I was riding smooth and just riding for, for myself and putting some heart into it. Top 30, for your best overall in 28, properly stoked on that. I, got a, I did a stage best top 20 on stage 5 and then on the final stage, stage 7, I beat that with a 19th on the stage. Solid day, feeling real good dude, yeah, ready, really wish it wasn't the last race. Just want to keep going now. Uh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> nice work, dude. Thanks, dude. Nice work. If you fucking crush that Todd, I could. I was, we were close in, on after six, but you had a good last one. I had a really good That's last sick. one. That's sick. really good. good. Definitely a nice like change of pace from the first three to the last four. Coming out of like the new like Lomi trails into the bike park where they're like more established, you know, you're less likely to like come around a corner and there not be a corner there. <laughs> yeah, coming into the final stage, I was only a second behind Emmett. 
and I like just being that close I was like man I gotta get this kid <laughs> you know I can't let him beat me but he apparently had a ripper of the last stage like I think he was like top 20 on the last stage and uh, yeah I didn't have as good a stage as him so that's really awesome that he had such a good race this weekend um, it's the first one he's beaten me at and uh, hopefully the last for a little while overall pretty sick day I really like racing here in uh, Chateau really hope we come back next year looking forward to some off season now yeah I like been it really hard on stage three after having stage one and two that weren't really amazing so I just carried on out of like I have to carry on and then kind of managed to brush it off a bit like every stage I rode a bit better yeah on stage seven I was like well I might as well hit the deck or just go for it and then I hit the first rock drop thing so hard that my contact popped out and then I was just like well maybe I chilled the fuck out a bit and then yeah I got seventh I think on that stage so that's nice but you know you want more? You want to be back to giving more? That's my brain. <laughs> Alright guys, that's all for season 5 of Jank Files. Thanks for tuning in. Au revoir from Chateau. Bye! Bye! Bye. <laughs>